My name is Emma, and I'm seven years old. My name is Jamie, and I'm four years old. And I'm Spencer, and I am 32 years old. <laughs> am I old? Yeah, you are. Yeah. yeah you are. What are we doing today, ladies? Um, today we're, we're going to talk about barnyard fire fire. So let's try that, maybe not talking over each other. Emma, what are we going to do today? We're going to talk about Barnyard Bunch. Are you excited to talk about Barnyard Bunch? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna, you're want you going to tell everybody what you think about it? Yep, and, and this is what the box of Barnyard Bunch looks like. Good job, Jane. All right, Jane, what is Barnyard Bunch? Um, It's about when you um get all the animals to the barn and of running off like that. Okay. Emma, do you have anything else to add? Like, what, what is the game about? About... Like luring the um, animals back to the barn. Luring? No, l- I don't know. I no, <laughs> say luring. Luring. There you go. Yeah, you want to lure the animals that are trying to escape the barn. You want to bring them back to the barn. What happens if an animal escapes, Emma? The game automatically is over. And do we win? No. No, we don't, Jane. We lose. We lose. Oh my goodness. Have we ever lost before? Yes. yes. <laughs> we certainly have. Um, what about winning? How do we win, Jane? Um, we have to use all the cards, and and we have to um, get the animals back to the barn after you use the last card. That's right. There's a deck of cards that you're going to draw from every round, every, t- uh, every turn a player has. And if you make it through that deck of cards without animal escaping, you win the game. Have we ever won, girls? Yes. yes. We a sure lot have. of times. A lot of times. And, and how do you feel when we win? Happy and good. I feel excited when we win. Do you? Yeah. Well, Emma, how do you play? Like, what, what do you do on your turn? On your turn, you roll the die. Mm-hmm. And, if, and, if, and if you get a farmer or a dog named Lily, um... If you get, if you roll Lily, then you can choose one animal to go all the way back. But if you roll the farmer, you get to pick one animal to go back one space. Jane, what happens if you roll a color? Um, the animal moves forward. Yes, so there are multiple colors on the board, on the pieces of cardboard. And if you roll a color that an animal is on, it will move to the next square. And sometimes... That will move more than one animal, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's crazy because then you don't know what to do. All right. Ah. So, yeah. Mm. So let's talk about strategy, girls. There's a lot of dice rolling in the game, mm-hmm. and there's mm-hmm. a lot of card drawing. So if if that sounds like a lot of randomness, it uh, it is. There's a lot of randomness to the game. Um, but you there is a little bit of strategy. So for mm-hmm. example, Emma, whenever it comes time to move an animal back, which animal do you want to pick? The farthest one away. The farthest one away. Jane, um, what happens if you pick one that's not far away? Um, it... <laughs> well, what will happen is the animals that are far away will might get away. Might might get away and you'll lose the game, right? Yeah. yeah. Or they might go forward. Like, and if they're the farthest, then if you roll, if you say... Come on, Lily. Come on, Lily. If you roll, Lily, then you will be like, yes. Yes, so that is one of our favorite parts of the game is whenever we um, we roll or draw Lily because uh, then we yell, Lily, and she comes in Lily. and brings the animals back. We talked about you roll a die on your, on your turn, but you also draw a card, and the card will either cause animals to continue to move away from the barn or they can draw them back, and, of course, that we'll have the farmer or Lily, like we've talked about, but how else can animals move back? Um, it will show the animal, and the thing that it wants, so you can move the animal back one space. Right, so it's coming back to the barn because you have something that it wants. Jane, what does the frog want? Um, it, it wants to fly. Fly? What about the, the sheep? Grass. What are some of the other things, the other animals, and what do they want? Um... The cat wants yarn, and the duck wants quackers. Quackers. And the the crackers. And the horse wants carrots. That's right. All the things that they love, their favorite thing, you draw a card with them and that symbol on it, they get to come back to the, or at least move back one space, one space further away from the end, which of course is good, good news. Jane, what do you like about the game? Um, I like when we draw... Lily or Lily. You like it when Lily comes out to help? Yeah, or if you draw the farmer or 
roll with the front. Yep, farmer's good too. Emma, what do you like about the game? I like um like when we draw cards because we're one step closer to winning a game. To yeah, win a game. and when you draw, it's kind of nerve wracking, right? You just yeah. you might draw the one thing that sends the animal off the edge. Yeah. Or you might draw Lily, Yay. and she'll draw move the animal back. Jane, is there anything you don't like about the game? I don't like when we lose. Yeah, that's not very fun. What about you? Is there anything you don't like? I agree with Jane. Just when you don't lose. Well, we I don't like when they um, like escape. Yeah, well, when they escape, we lose, so that's kind of the same thing, right? Yeah. What do you think about this game and how other kids might like it? I think it's great because Lily's in it and the farmer's in it. Yeah, they really love Lily yeah, so much. So like, those are your favorite parts? Yeah, and this is how much I love Lily. And this is one of your favorite games because we work together, right? Yep, it's cooperating. Yeah, you always love playing this game. She yeah, and I she love doesn't like this. when there's opponents. Yeah, she likes to work together. What about you? Do you think? Um, what do you think other kids? How they? How will they feel about this game? I think they'll feel really um, happy that they got it. Mhm. Mm and I bet they'll have fun cheering um, um, for Lily. Lily yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. So the box says four to ninety nine. Do you think a ninety nine year old player or ninety nine year old can play the game? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it says 99. Do you think a 100-year-old could play the game? Yep. You definitely. So? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess we might find out someday. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Maybe if I get to be 100 and we still have the game, maybe I can play yeah. and break the rule. I also think that 3-year-olds um, could probably grasp the concept of the game, too, especially since you're mainly just rolling dice and, and drawing cards. And then they, they both get the idea of the strategy of when to who to move back and when. I think that kids from probably three up to about ten will really enjoy this. Now, beyond ten, there's not really much to hold your attention because you are just rolling, and there's not a whole lot of strategic decisions to make. However, um, my wife, Laura, and I love playing it with the girls, and we love watching them make those decisions um, and see their brain work and, and get excited when they work things out as they're seeing it happen. Jane, do you have anything else to say about the game? Yeah, because I think kids will really like this game. Awesome. What about you? Do you have anything else to say? I agree with Jane. You agree with Jane. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please click the like button. If you are on YouTube, please sub subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe. Easy for you to say. Please, please subscribe to this <laughs> channel. <laughs> you said it better than I could myself. Yes, thanks again so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments... Uh, please leave them in the comments below the video. Until next time, don't take the board game hobby too seriously. What should every What should everybody do about board games? Um, have fun. Have fun and play and and play games. And lighten up.